What if I told you that learning a language isn't about being good at it? It's about understanding how your brain works and, spoiler alert, it's smarter than you think. How do people even do this? I just I cannot. That's true. Let's finally understand the science of language learning and why you're ready wired up to pick up that second language. Okay, real talk. I started learning at least three languages in my life. Spanish, French, and a very ambitious attempt at learning Japanese. And guess what? Yes, I quit all three. Multiple times. My disappointment is immeasurable. But here is the thing. Every time I restarted, I actually learned a little bit more. That's because our brains are built for learning multiple languages, even if it doesn't feel like it. Today, I'm sharing the science behind it, how to make it work for you and why your past mistakes aren't your failures, but simply stepping stones towards success. Let's go. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Veronica. I learn nine languages and some programming languages as well. You can call me a Renaissance person if you're up to it. But back to the main point. Let's start with basics. Your brain has this magical ability called neuroplasticity. Fancy word, right? Well, not so fancy, because this word actually means that your brain has this ability to change. All it means is that your brain is super adaptable to any changes in your life. Imagine your brain as forest. Every time you learn a new world, you are like carving this new tiny trail in this forest, thus memorizing this new world pattern or grammar much better and much more effectively. And the more you practice, the better and the clearer this trail actually becomes and after some time it's like a full road here is the coolest part kids don't have this super magical ability to learn new languages much faster than adults or teenagers we have the same ability sure they might pick up pronunciation better than we are but still we got some problem solving skills in our life isn't it and in fact we have a little bit more of life experience with what we can connect dot with. Now let's tackle the real elephant in the room. Why does learning language sometimes feel like an uphill battle? It is just so frustrating that we just cannot tackle and live with this. Well, it's because our brains love shortcuts. They've been wired for this like for thousands, if not millions of years, and uh, we just cannot escape from it. Your brain thinks like, well, it's much easier to communicate, talk, like write in my native language. Why should I learn and prefer the foreign one? It's a bit more difficult, so I should stick to my native language, right? But we want to a bit change it because you actually want to learn a new foreign language, right? But when you're actually forcing your brain to prefer a foreign language over your native language, you're actually like forcing it instead of using GPS, using a map. Not a great substitute in the real world, right? The real trick isn't to fight this frustration, it's to embrace it. Because every time you make this silly mistake, you mispronounce that word, your brain is rewiring itself. It's a messy but effective way to learn new words, grammar, and language overall. Here is what it gets really exciting. Many studies have shown that immersion is one of the best and literally the best way to learn any language, from listening to podcasts to surrounding yourself with the language and literally Googling in this new foreign language makes you much more better off in the future than simply reading these grammar books and memorizing still structures because you're not actually actively learning this language.
that hold on you don't need to move to another country to finally master and speak fluently in this language start small add one small habit every day just not to get this burnout say that you won't want to learn any foreign language in the future switch your netflix subtitles start listening to this new podcast that you find on spotify start reading a book in this language or simply search in new foreign language you can even try practicing speaking in the mirror like with yourself create a small monologue for you to practice and to exercise your mouth muscles I promise your brain will rewire itself. It's just soaking the information for now. You just have to be patient with your brain. Now, even if it doesn't feel like you're doing much progress, it's just a feeling. It's just an emotion because your brain is literally trying to rewire the natural, the comfortable way of thinking in your native language. Now, if you want to dive a bit deeper in this concept, how you can learn better, what techniques you can use, and some tips that I've been struggling with in my language learning journey, you can check out some more videos on my YouTube channel where I dive deeper in these techniques. And if you're learning Spanish, French, English, you can find other videos on my channel specifically for these languages. So if you would want to check them out, I will link them right here. Or here you'll see <laughs> also consistency beats perfections over time even in some way talent five minutes a day of practice consistently is much better than one long study session only once every month learning a new language isn't about being perfect it's about letting your brain to rewire itself to make new structures to understand better the material and just soaking in the material that you've been exposing it to trust the process as already said and you will be in a pretty much great place remember that every word you learn every new grammar that you practice every awkward conversation that you have it's still a part of the process and uh, this is literally helping you to learn a new language without this you won't be able to do this so go ahead, mess up a few words, have a few messy conversations and simply enjoy the process. That's all I can say, because this, this is what literally keeping me up to these days to learn a new foreign language, a new and another new language in my reservoir. Because the best way and the actual way how you can learn any language is to actually use it. Your brain has understood you. You just have to trust it. And as always, a free downloadable guide that you can get in the descriptions below. It contains a summary of this video, a calendar tracker to track your progress in learning a new foreign language, and some additional tips that are not covered in this video. So you might want to check it out. Thanks again for being here. I hope I really was helpful to you. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Give me your thumbs up and share your opinions in the comments down below. I would be really grateful to hear some interesting ideas or just support from you guys. And I really want to see you in my next videos. Goodbye. See you next time.